So here we are with Jackie and Alana and our three baby goats. And we're in the process of giving them their first vaccination shots, uh, CDE. And right now Jackie is shaving around their little baby buds, uh, their little horns, and we'll also be doing some disbudding. So she just gave them a, a bear, like a orange flavored baby aspirin so that it could start taking effect. And we're gonna give them, she just shaved them. And we're gonna give them the shot. So right now we're switching goats. We have three babies to do. So first give them the baby aspirin. The back teeth are pretty sharp. So you just gotta kind of put it to the back of the throat, close the mouth and rub the throat so she doesn't um, get it back there. <laughs> she said, I don't like it. It tastes yucky. It tastes yucky. Okay, there you go. Nope. nope. She put it in the front. Sometimes they're not quite as easy as you would think. Okay. Good. Did you get it? So we're all holding goats right now. Even the the filmer here. Did you get it that time? Alright. Alright, yay! So now we're gonna go ahead and give her her shot. And Jackie's got an alcohol swab and it's right underneath, like in the armpit area. I don't know if I can see. And this is under the skin. They're shot and they will need it. How many weeks later again? Three. Three weeks later. So just an initial prick. And you want to pull back on the needle to make sure that it's not sucking air. And then rub, 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 because they're going to have a little knot there. So you just rub it, rub it, rub it. It doesn't feel good, huh? Maybe with the next one we can face the other direction towards me, Alana, so we can get it. So now she's going to shave. So you want to get all the way around those little buds. I know. Nice little round circle, little section around them. And once we get it hot, she's going to test the iron on this little board that we have right here um, to make sure that it's hot enough. Those round circles are actually the shape of the, um, the disbudding iron. And she's going to burn a circle around. I'll show you right here. Sorry, we might cut that out. Um, around the baby's horn. Hang on, let me focus, zoom out. Okay, so she's gonna burn a hole all the way around the baby's little horns here and um, until the top of the little bud falls off and the rest of it turns white. And it does kind of go down to the skull. And um, they're pretty resilient, like she said, um, which is why we want, we want the baby aspirin though to kick in a little bit before, so. Here we go, she's cleaning it out. And that actually is the iron. It's cast iron. Mm -hmm. Did we already do the other baby though? We already shaved her too? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, they're all done. So now they're all, they all have baby aspirin. They've all been shaved and they all had the shots? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. And so now we're just heating up the branding iron cool. and we'll be right back. Oh, okay, so go ahead, Jackie. She was, so we're the, waiting for it to heat up. And in the meantime, we're gonna so have the conversation. The reasons that you dehorn goats is not just because it looks good or you know, you want to do it. It's because it's better for them in the long run. Horns can often get stuck in fences. Um, we actually had a goat when I was little that got her horns stuck in a fence and she was in there for almost all day and got pretty dehydrated. 
and it's also better for the person raising the goat because horns are sharp and even if the goat is not mean or means to hurt you they can still poke you if you lean over them or um, work with them they can get you with the horns and really hurt you mm -hmm. and also if you want to sell your baby goats as pets people looking for pets often have kids and people with kids don't want goats with horns so it's a lot easier to find good pet homes for goats without horns than it is goats with horns a lot of times if you have goats with horns then your option is either keeping them selling them to another dairy person or for meat Mm -hmm. Or brush goats or whatever. Yeah. But even in herds, like they beat up on each other they, too. They so do, and they can hurt each other. The horns are very sharp and they're very good at using So them. when you have a, a larger herd, you're risking more opportunity for injury mm -hmm. to your other animals, which is why bigger dairies disbud as well, right? Because yeah. they don't want to injure. And I know the lady that we um, actually had a stud feed from didn't her first, like her from the male, she got gored in the udder yeah possibly. He, he got her in the udder and then there was one other male that you had and a lot of times people think to leave the males um, with their horns just because they're guys but um but he actually his horns grew differently and so they were growing crooked and into his face yeah that one he was actually disbudded wrong um i think they use the acid paste which is another method of dehorning but it's very labor intensive. It needs to be done a lot and done right. And he wasn't done right. And so, yeah, his horns grew sideways and started growing into his eyes. Yeah. So that acid, <laughs> which is a different method, um, takes multiple, multiple times to yeah, do. Yeah, it's a paste and it has to be rubbed onto the horn bud. And it only takes away a small portion of the, of the layer of horn. So you have to put it on and then put it on again and again every couple days until it actually eats away at the base of the horn. Mm -hmm. But it's also a lot more dangerous because the goats will rub each other with it and they can rub each other in the eyes or the nose and it is acid so it can hurt them. Yeah. You wouldn't even think people so would actually use this that. This method is quick and there's no blood involved and it's very non-traumatic for the goat as far as other methods involved because you can also um, take them to the vet and they will scoop out the horn but there's a lot of bleeding involved in that and a lot more risk of infection and usually a lot more recovery time and goats don't always do well with anesthesia and they do anesthetize them for that procedure and so it's a lot more recovery for the baby. Yeah I've heard of other FFA kids actually having to have their cattle mm -hmm. and they've they've scooped them yeah. That's that's a that sounds a like very, an awful it's procedure. A very traumatic event for the baby. Yeah. So and in in burning instead it also carterizes uh -huh. while it's doing it. Yeah, so it doesn't bleed and then it seals off all the blood vessels and all that for um, any infection. So yeah. it makes it very clean and quick. And then what you spray it with uh, the blue coat? Yeah, I have the blue coat. And I spray it when it's all done. Some people spray with silver. Um, and that just keeps it clean. And also it's, you know, antibacterial, oh. antiseptic. Mm -hmm. So it'll just keep any other infection out. Awesome. Yeah, we have that for our horses too. So that's just like uh -huh. a general animal yep. anesthetic type thing. But it does stain. It's very, yes. very purple. It's very purple. <laughs> all right. Good. Good for now. We're waiting for it to heat up. So now we're testing. Get ready to scooch. Testing the iron, so it was good. Yeah, you want to show you here? Yeah. Let's see if we can find a spot on it. You just put it down for a second. You just want to make sure it's black all the way around. Okay. So that didn't take away our heat, huh? Ooh, that wood stinks. All right, so, and I'm holding a goat too, so if the video shakes at all while she's crying, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not there. So you might want to scooch back and then let's see. Oh, I think you're okay there. Nope. So I'm gonna put her underneath me. They don't like this part. Well no. It's kinda like a predator would do to eat them. So you've got her 
front legs completely confined and Alana's holding her her back leg. I know. I know, baby. It's okay. I know. I'm like sitting here in the wind. I'm all... Barbecue. I know, mamas. I know, mamas. Oh, oh. So that little... She's breathing really hard. Oh, dangy. Floppy for a second. So you can go, you can go take her back up to her mom. Yeah, we're not gonna do another one until you take her back. Okay, that's it, gang. Between while we're waiting for it to heat up, this is the tool and the rubber bands that you use to castrate a male. So the little baby boy goats get a lot more. Can you hold it over the blanket? Because over the tools, like you can't really see it. So that goes up and around the this goes testicles. around their testicles, you put their testicles in it, and then you close it, and then you just pull the rubber band up off, and then that will stay around it. Cut the circulation off on the testicles, and they will dry up and fall off in about three weeks. Nice. But after about eight hours, they can't feel them anymore, they're completely numb. Yeah, and that actually does the same thing where it cuts off all the blood vessels and it dries up and it slowly goes. So there's no blood yeah, involved there's no in that one either. Yeah, blood and very little risk of infection. The only thing you want to make sure is that they've had their tetanus shot because it is a risk of tetanus with this. But okay. other than that, um, it's very safe and it doesn't cause them a whole lot of pain. Yeah, and there's other techniques to to doing that, right? Yes, there are. You can, I mean, again, you could do surgical again, but again, they don't respond generally very well to anesthesia. Or and then there's also a, an incision. That's a huge one. That's for bigger males. That's actually a cattle bander, but I've done adult male goats with that. Ah. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people that think that they want to have their boy goat as a pet and that they don't want to neuter them because it's not nice and then they become an adult and they realize that an adult male goat is not so much fun and then they're in a panic to figure out how to neuter them. Yeah. All right, Feline. The last it's one. Not it's not? It's oh, not Feline. It's Lila. Sorry. Last one. Aww. Okay. This is our last baby. So again, feet are under. Mom is not happy over there. Alana's holding the back feet. Real nice and tight. I know, Mama. Yes. It's okay, baby. She gets the little bud off to test it. There you go. There you go. And she just gets it a little bit more. It's okay. It's okay. 
She's like, no, it's not okay. All right, baby. All right, and we are almost done. And that is all she wrote. Good girl, good girl. All right, go? love her and take okay. her back to mommy. Okay, Alana. All your babies are okay. Wait, turn it, hello. Love your babies. It's a good girl, okay. Go take her back to mommy. Thanks, Jackie, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't know what we do without Jackie.